Samsung is doing something they've never done before. So before the Fold 6 and Flip 6 were released, we heard of a mysterious third device. A sort of... A sort of ultra, right? Uh, we didn't really have much confirmation or even rumors to go on, right? So as, as time went on, and we didn't even know when the release date was going to be. We thought they could come out with... Uh, um, three foldables on launch day. Now, as time went on, and obviously the launch went on with two being released, we figured, well, I always had this in the back of my mind, right? So, damn, so whatever happened to that third edition? Well, we're starting to get a little more information as time goes on, and I think I think it's getting close to being launched, which which we will discuss here shortly, but as I mentioned, details are slowly emerging of this third foldable, foldable by Samsung. And we reported, I believe it was on Friday or Saturday, that this device was going to be very thin, right? It's going to be much thinner than the Fold 6 is right now. They're going to shave a couple of millimeters off the thickness of both panels. So, so it should be, when it's folded closed, should be four to five millimeters thinner than what it already is folded closed which it's already a fairly thin device but what they're going to do i think what this is going to look like and i've always wanted a foldable to look like this so i said man i've i've always gotten the flips right i love the flips but never got a fold it just looked i don't know it was just something about them just didn't really fit in the hand too well and they just look weird because most of the time honestly i would use it folded closed um uh, where it's like a regular phone, but it's just too big, too bulky, too too heavy, just too weird looking. What they're going to do, I think, is, and I've always thought, man, it would be super cool if they could just make like two S24 Ultras put together and then make it a foldable. Well, guess what? I believe we're going to get something kind of similar to that because we're now starting to learn that this new Z Fold 6 special edition quote unquote we don't have an official name we don't have any terminology to tag along with this we got word it's going to be thinner now check this out we got word it's going to have the same camera setup as the s24 ultra so it's going to be getting the 200 megapixel um sensor right and i always thought samsung we're not necessarily ripping customers off but I've always thought, damn, why don't they're charging damn near two thousand dollars for this device, damn near two racks for this device, and they're not even putting the best camera setup on it? Like, like, what are y'all doing? And that's part of the other reason why I hadn't bought one, because they don't put the best cameras on them. It doesn't make sense. Now it looks like this might be the perfect foldable, not only for me but for you as well. So it's going to be thinner, basically like two phones slapped together and then it just folds together. It's going to have the full S24 Ultra camera setup. And may I mention the same camera setup that the S25 Ultra is going to have. We're learning now that the S25 Ultra is basically going to have the same camera setup, same sensors. It's going to be slight. It's going to have a little different dimensions and that's that's all they need right just a little tweak because it already kind of looks like two phones stuck together but it's still kind of too tall so they're just going to change a few millimeters here a few millimeters there and i think slowly over time possibly next year the fold 7 should be essentially two phones stuck together that just fold open and closed um and this is our very first look so that's that's why I have this up here. Our very first look. So this is what it's going to look like. At least the camera setup. Now it's going to look familiar. You're going to see certain design language, sort of morph into flagship device from Samsung to flagship device. This same camera setup now, minus the island around the sensors, but the new S25 Ultra, upcoming S25 Ultra, it's going to have the same sensors. Or at least the same look as the sensors you see right there. It's going to have a more pronounced ring around the cameras. Now, the island is not going to be there on the S25 Ultra, but the camera island you see there is exactly what's coming on the Fold 6 
special edition. Leaker Evan Bla- uh, Bias, Evan Blass, excuse me, Evan Blass, e- uh, EV Leaks has shared two renders, but without any further context. But we can guess what it is because this is the next device Samsung is going to put out. Remember, it wasn't ready in time. I'm sure they wanted to release it alongside the Fold 6, but it just wasn't ready in time. So they said, you know what, let's go ahead and release the Flip 6 and Fold 6, and then we will release this special edition at a later time. These renders could be, it is, wink, wink, of the upcoming Z Fold 6 special edition for South Korea which could be rebranded as the Samsung W25 in China. So unfortunately for us here in the U.S., they're not releasing it to us. This is only coming to, it's only going to be released. Sorry. It's only going to be released in China and South Korea, which why I have no idea. But it is what it is. Now, not I mean, you can still get one, or you can get grab one on eBay a couple a couple weeks after they launch this, but you're gonna be paying probably twenty five percent more. So instead of paying two grand, you're probably gonna be paying twenty five hundred, which is insane, but it is what it is, right? Uh, supply and demand, I guess. According to previous leaks, the device could launch on October eighteenth with open sales on October twenty fifth. Now I don't believe, here's the second photo, whoops, where is it? I don't believe that, here it is, I don't believe that they're going to launch it on October 18th, that's four days away. We would hear, there would be something else, I mean, unless they just want to drop a surprise bomb on us and say, surprise, Um, and again, uh, look, uh, Normally, if something was literally, literally three or four days away from launch, we would have something else than just a leak from EV leaks on Twitter, right? There would be something from Samsung, some other leaks uh, that would kind of point us in the direction of, hey, it's really, really close to being launched. Um, I'm assume, I'm guessing it's going to be released next month, but I don't have any news. I don't have any sourcing on that. It's just a pure guess out of thin air. Uh, but I would guess probably four weeks away, five weeks away, maybe six weeks away. But I, I can not necessarily guarantee you. I would almost bet that they release this before the holiday season, before New Year's, before the end of 2024. You will get a new Z Fold 6 Special Edition. Now, the other picture here oh, looks like it's just the side. Now, that's not the only news and or um, special features of this Z Fold 6. How could I forget to mention the crease? Or shall I say, what crease? So crease haters out there in the world, you might rejoice because it appears I've heard this device has close to, if not a zero crease display. And I know your Apple fans out there are wondering, what the hell is he talking about? When you have a foldable device, when you fold it closed, when you when you completely open it, wherever that hinge is at, wherever the wherever the screen folds, there's a slid, there's a small, there's a slight crease down that display wherever it folds. Now, Apple, I'm not gonna beat it, beat it, uh, this like a dead horse like I have been doing. The iPhone Flip scheduled to come out in, in two, uh, excuse me, uh, on the iPhone 18 series. Apple only green lit that project, only green lit that SKU, only green lit the iPhone Flip if it was going to have no crease. And by God, what do you know? Apple finally figured it out. They patented a new hinge about three or four months ago. Um, that allows a display to be open and closed with zero crease, meaning when you open it up, it has a regular display with no little crease right there. Now, it hasn't really bothered me in the past, um, and it has gotten better as each series leaks, right? As each series ha- series has gone on, it has gotten a little less noticeable and a little less noticeable, but it looks like 
Samsung might have done it. it I'm not going to say it should be a zero crease. Now, for those of y'all that say, well, can't Samsung just copy what Apple did? No, nope, because Apple patented their hinge, meaning you can't copy us. So it's, it's up to Samsung to figure it out. But they've been doing this longer than anybody. So uh, if any, but it's just kind of surprising that Apple beat them to the punch when Samsung's been doing this for many, many, many years. But uh, it is what it is. Samsung was going to get to a zero crease display at some point. I thought it would be done maybe in the next two years. Uh, but apparently, if there's no crease on this Fold 6 Special Edition, it should be a very, very minor crease. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see, right? Uh, I'm sure if they have a zero crease display, it would be everybody would rejoice and again this is a new hinge so this will not use the same hinge that's in the standard z fold 6 this is a from what i understand a completely redesigned hinge so maybe they do have something up their sleeve maybe they do have something uh to present to all the samsung and uh, lovers out there and foldable lovers out there so could this be the device for you i wonder I even ask myself that same question. Hmm, could this be the device? Now, something interesting before we get to the Apple story, and then we'll get out of here. What processor is Samsung going to go with? Because Snapdragon, Qualcomm, Snapdragon is releasing the 8 Gen 4 flagship CPU here in just a couple of days, just a few days. Uh, is it going to release with the new 8 Gen 4 inside? Or... Is Samsung going to release this with the older 8 Gen 3, the current 8 Gen 3? Not for long, but what are they going to do? Because it would look kind of weird uh, if Samsung released this Z Fold 6 after the announcement of this new flagship CPU, and it has last year's flagship CPU. See what I'm saying? So we haven't gotten any word, any news, any updates on the, what they're going to go with. Um, I would hope if they're going to charge this much money for a phone, damn it, it better have all the specs on it, <laughs> right? It better have top of the line everything on this device. That's one thing that really, really bugs me about these expensive phones and i'm not, not just singling out samsung i'm singling out everybody if you're going to be if you're going to be charging two damn near two thousand dollars for a phone man you got to give us a a a fully loaded device it's just it's unfair and that's why i haven't been one of the few reasons i haven't really pulled the trigger on a fold model yet but this one we'll have to wait and see what what the official specs are but Samsung might change my mind. Uh, and again, you'd have to get it on eBay or a third party um, swap or something like that, a third party uh, platform because they are not selling it in the United States. And if you say, screw it, I'm going to get it no matter what, just beware. And we'll, re we'll report on this as time goes on. Beware all of the bands, all the frequencies in the device might not fully be operational in the United States. Kind of like a nothing phone is here in the U.S. If you have T-Mobile, should be good. But um, if you have Verizon, not so much. If you have AT&T, not so much. So um, be on the lookout. Stay tuned to eSIM Studios. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you get all the news, all the information on this outstanding, what looks to be, what appears to be this outstanding device.